past three plus days, we keep being told that Israel and Hamas are very close to reaching a deal on the release of dozens of hostages held by Hamas. But are they really? Today, the body of hostage 65-year-old cancer patient Yehudith Weiss was found by IDF forces in a building near the Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza. The IDF says they also recovered the bodies of Hamas terrorists who were holding Weiss, along with military equipment, weapons in the same building. Now, pressure seems to be building for both sides to agree to some sort of deal. The problem is that the speculation that such a deal was imminent days ago makes me think that it's maybe fallen through. President Biden, remember saying that he believed it's going to happen and telling the families of those hostages, hang on, we're coming. That was on Tuesday. Last night, he already seemed far less certain. I am mildly hopeful. I'm mildly hopeful. I'm working on how I can be helpful in getting the hostages released and have a period of time where there's a pause long enough to let that happen. Now he's just mildly hopeful. Look, here's what we know tonight, all right? According to Israeli and Arab officials, one, Hamas has apparently agreed in principle to release 50 women and children out of the at least 100 women and children it's currently believed to be holding in, among other places, underground bunkers beneath Gaza. Number two, in exchange for the hostages, Israel would agree to some pause in fighting, increasing humanitarian aid, the release of roughly the same number of Palestinian women and children held in Israeli prisons. And three, Israel's supposedly still considering the deal. Who knows if that's true? Remember, its government would ultimately have to vote on it. Meantime, the New York Times reports Israel believes that Wednesday's raid on the Al-Shifa hospital will put pressure on Hamas to finish a deal to trade dozens of Israeli captives for Palestinian prisoners, according to two senior Israeli officials. The raid on and around Al-Shifa continued today with Israeli troops inside the hospital finding weapons and explosives, including what they say was an operational command center, tech, grenades, guns found in the hospital's MRI building, they said. They also say they found a hidden booby trap vehicle containing AK-47s, RPGs, sniper rifles, grenades, other explosives, along with a, quote, operational tunnel shaft. This is part of that underground bunker infrastructure the IDF says Hamas has been concealing. IDF troops continuing to work their way through the hospital complex tonight. Meanwhile, Hamas leaders continue to try to blame Israel for the fact that Hamas themselves aren't releasing more civilian hostages. Netanyahu doesn't want to reach an agreement, and he doesn't want a humanitarian ceasefire, and he is truly not interested in the release of hostages, be it the captives or his soldiers, and he wants to prolong this war. This could be his personal interest to prolong this war. Except, of course, that it's in Hamas's interest, not Israel's, to prolong, prolong the war, right? The more people who die, the worse it is for Israel and the better it is for Hamas in the court of international opinion. So where do things really stand? This is a critical question on this negotiation for the hostages. Let's ask Hugh Dugan. He served as acting special presidential envoy for hostage affairs during the Trump administration. Hugh, thanks for coming back on the program. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. So, you know, look, you know the way this stuff works. You know the way people talk in code when you're talking about hostage negotiations. Read the tea leaves as best you can here in terms of what we know. Well, um, we are in the fog of war. Each hostage case is its own war. And in this case, we have a war within a war. So that makes the, the work all the more difficult. But in this fog of war, we can easily get tempted with mirages. And I think what we're being offered up by Hamas is a, a mirage. Huh. So you think, you think Hamas is not serious about releasing these hostages? Hamas has a vested interest in the status quo. So far, it's been working for them. They seek publicity. They seek the favor of their paymaster, Iran. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.